Tanny Cooks here. Today I'm going to show you how to make an absolutely delicious side dish in the air fryer. Of course, my favorite thing in the summer. We're going to be making bacon wrapped potato wedges. Let's get to cooking. We're going to start out with clean and washed potatoes. These are russet potatoes and I'm drying them off with a paper towel because when we roast them, we want them to crisp up and not steam, so they need to be dry. This is the bacon I'm using. I'm going to experiment using thick cut bacon as, re as well as regular bacon, maple flavor. So with my potatoes, I'm just gonna lay them longwise and cut them down the middle so that I have a flat side to lay them on. And now I'm gonna cut my wedges. So with these sized potatoes, I'm gonna cut about three wedges per half side of potato. If your potatoes are bigger or smaller, then you may get a different number. And the size of your potatoes will determine how long they need to cook. But these are my wedges, a nice size, not too thin. So I'm going to soak them in water for about 10 minutes, just plain white water. It'll help get some of the starch out. Um, plain white water, cool water, no vinegar in it this time. So now that my wedges have soaked for about 10 minutes in clean water, I'm going to dry them off with a paper towel. Completely dry them. And now I'm going to make sure that the bowl that I'm going to mix my olive oil marinade in is completely dry as well. And then put my potato wedges in there and add my olive oil. So even though we're going to wrap these in bacon, the bacon fat is going to drip to the bottom and it won't necessarily permeate the whole potato. So some oil is necessary. And then we're going to add some seasoning. So I'm just going to keep it simple and add some black pepper and some no salt sodium free seasoning. You could use salt here. You could also add onion powder and garlic powder if you choose. So just rub your potatoes into the olive oil and seasoning mixture. Make sure every part of the potato is covered. Now I'm going to take a regular piece of bacon, regular cut, and just wrap it around my wedge. Now because there's air flowing in the air fryer, you need to make sure that your bacon is wrapped securely. So kind of hold the bacon on one end and overlap that piece with another piece to make sure it doesn't come undone in your air fryer. If it does, it's not a big deal. It'll just impact the presentation, but the taste will still be good. Now the shorter bacon is the thick cut bacon. So thick cut bacon would be better if you have smaller potatoes. I actually think I like the regular cut bacon better because of the length of it. But again, that's just personal choice. And the thickness of the bacon will impact the cook time in your air fryer, of course. So you can make it work with either type of bacon and any size of potato. Just make adjustments as necessary. So now that I have my bacon wrapped and I have my air fryer, we're going to cook these on 300 degrees for 380 degrees for about 12 to 15 minutes. Again, that's going to depend on your air fryer and depend on your bacon, whether it's thick cut or regular cut. When you're cooking in your air fryer, especially with this recipe, you want to check it every few minutes and look at how beautiful this looks. I put a couple of potatoes in there to just roast plain and there we have it bacon wrapped potato wedges. I garnish them with parsley and you can actually drizzle some of the bacon fat in your air fryer on the potatoes to give them more moisture and flavor. Thank you so much for watching this video.